So recently I've been working on trying to insulate my shed and get a small portable air conditioner in here to try and be able to create a workspace with a more stable temperature, I guess you could say, as here in South Australia, it can get pretty hot in the summer. So basically I've had a goal in mind of being able to create a workspace that I can work in year round, regardless of the temperature, to try and be more productive and to be able to complete projects quicker. Now, I've actually already done all of this, as you can see in the background, and just loosely videoed it as I've been working on this project since the start of January. And it's pretty funny because we're actually now at the end of April, so we're only one month away from winter now, so I'm probably going to have to get a heater in here soon rather than an air conditioner. But anyway, enough with the talking, I shall show that build footage now, so start. to cut a sheet of MDF into these 32 strips. I did that basically just because it turned out to be cheaper to do that rather than buying individual pre-made slats. I also decided to pre-drill pre holes in them the same diameter as the screws so they fit straight in. Basically I did that so when I'm putting the insulation on the roof the wood doesn't get pulled down as it's drilling the hole in the steel. So yeah, anyway, let's start. Now, to be completely honest, it's not actually that cool in here. It's probably, I'd say it's probably still around the same temperature as outside if you're standing in the shade, but at least it's not just a metal box heating up in the sun anymore. So by the time I do get an air conditioner in here, I'm hoping it should maintain a stable, cool temperature. Now you may have noticed I do actually have a whirly bird on the roof. I've decided to leave it on there without cutting a hole in the insulation, just so then hopefully it will draw all the hot air out of the cavity between the insulation and the roof. And yes, I did test to make sure it's waterproof and no water got through. Anyway, with nothing further to do, I shall start putting the lights and camera slider back up before installing a small portable air conditioner. So anyway, let's start.
so the reason I actually built this bench is for an upcoming project or well video where I'll be building these two outside speakers. So the, the reason I actually made the bench is to hold these amplifiers and it basically just neatly ties everything together. You can see I've got the air conditioner under here and so it all looks fairly neat and all works well. Anyway, that is for the next video so make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss it. But anyway, that's all I've got for this video. So if you did enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like and comment as well. And thanks for watching.